Hi everyone. So uh, just about at the end of week two, I hope uh, went well for you. You had a chance to kind of do some research on your rural state so you get a sense of the disparities and resources specifically focused on the rural um, rural needs, right? So um, and next week begins your first assignment, uh, the white paper. So you'll be looking at your evidence-based toolkit that you chose in the choice poll um, and the link as you saw in the directions is in that toolkit is in the choice poll um, to the rural health hub um, rural health information hub um, um, and yes and then it will be um, a county your rural county and the um, the problem that you chose in that evidence-based toolkit so um, just as a reminder, there's a long list of those uh, social determinants of health in the directions. You'll choose just those that apply to the problem that you'll be writing about. Um, and like it said, I just want to reinforce that uh, to help you with staying within the page count that the that first introduction with the social determinants of health um, you can refer to the appendix as often as you need to and just share just a small snippet of what um, what the data is. Um, so, like, for example, if it's uh, race and ethnicity, you can just say it's X percent white and um, you can say see the appendix for the remaining ethnicities, something like that. Um, however you want to do it is fine. Um, just follow the directions in the manual on how to refer to the appendix and how to format the appendix. Okay, this is, you know, maybe 80% of what a real white paper looks like. Um, so I kind of just shortened it down a little bit uh, just to give you a sense of being able to present a problem and solutions and um, uh, similar to most everything we do as nurses, right, on identifying problems and helping to find solutions and leadership and all of that stuff. So um, I think that was it. Um, I hope that things are going well. You're enjoying the class. And um, for those of you who have been in touch, I really enjoy hearing from you. And um, if you have any questions, you know I'm here. Uh, so please don't hesitate to be in touch. Um, Hope you're doing something uh, relaxing or fun this weekend. Um, if you're working or if you um, are going to get started on the project, be sure to carve out some time for yourself. Um, the good stuff. So um, I'm going to be doing a little shopping this weekend and house chores and nothing overly exciting, just regular stuff. And um, yeah, so that's about it. All right. It's good to connect with you and uh, look forward to hearing from you if I can help you with anything. All right. Take care.